the moment we've all been waiting for. The IC905. We're live, Hero. We're live. <laughs> we got Hero, Hero the uh, Heroes from Wacom Australia. And and we've got the we got the I uh, sorry to butt sorry to butt in. We got the IC905. Look at this. So, uh, oh, we're receiving, we're receiving amateur television at the moment, are we? From uh, this side? Yep. And so uh, a dish over there. Yeah, this is uh, not our production model. Our yep. engineer made a homebrew <laughs> antenna. Yep. So that is AH24. Yep. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz Corinia antenna. So, and yeah, the 10 gig, 10 10 gig transfer. transporter yep. and uh, RF unit, yep. RF deck. And, uh, control, head. control head, yeah. So uh, we are receive we are receiving pictures. So press the here. Yep. So you can magnify the. Ah, oh, full screen. Okay. Yep. I see. There's a bit of. Um, I see. It's a little bit uh, uh, noisy because of everyone that's in here. And there's and there's not a lot of. It's not a lot. Not very high powered. So. So yeah, we've got the. Uh, all of the frequencies on there. One thing I did notice too, which a lot of people will be asking about too, is I can't quite show you, but underneath the um, underneath the 10 gigahertz transverter, here we go. I can show you. So it's actually labelled. I don't think I can quite focus. 2400 megahertz IF. So that answers the question about what are, what IF this uh, this unit uses. It uses a 2.4 gigahertz IF for the the input of the 10 of the uh, CX10G. From the uh, from here, which I guess you could drive that from another 2.4 gigahertz transverter if you've got it. Uh, we've got a little horn antenna here too for 10 gigahertz, which they're demonstrating. So, um, so yeah, it, it it acts like a very much like a, a 905, uh, a 705. Hold on, let me put my microphone on so that I can actually push buttons because I think I'm allowed to push buttons. Oh, so we can change frequency bands. And uh, it's got audio at the moment. I don't know if you can actually hear that because we're transmitting audio as well. Um, full screen. Full screen amateur TV. RF power. Same, same sort of look as the 705. And it's just got, so I was talking to Hero earlier and he said that it's got this, I think this is a 30 metre land cable, 20 metre land cable, sorry. I think you can use a slightly longer cable, but the recommended is 20 metres minimum. So um, that's, what, that's what kind of is recommended. Um, RJ45 jack on the side for the LAN, uh, and then also the POE up to the device outside, the USB-C. Uh, on the other side, same sort of stuff that we saw in the in the promo. With all of the connections there. AV in, AV out, send, etc., etc. Need to ask if you can actually switch any other transverters using that. Um, this actually weighs quite a bit. This is very lightweight. It's actually a lot smaller than I um, than I thought too. I thought that that would be a lot bigger, but it's actually not. But uh, yeah, that's rather that's rather heavy, but that's okay. Um, as Hero said, he's got the two antennas, the AH24, which is from Icom, and the Homebrew 5.6 gig antenna. And the RF outputs here, so 270, 23, 2.4, 5.6. And the GPS, so all in one solution for the microwave. And then on the bottom, the uh, 10, 10 meg reference input, the LAN cable which heads up into here from the remote head, and then the 10 gig output, control output. I reckon these pins, I reckon there'll be some pins out of here that you'll be able to control the transverter switching. And hopefully they're in the service manual because obviously that's driving this transverter. So it needs some sort of control. Manuel, you know, what's the price? That's the question on everyone's uh, lips. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer for you. 
Icom Japan still are not sure on the price. But it's here in the flesh, here in, here in Australia in its uh, VK debut. So um, it's, uh, it's causing quite a lot of people to come over to this stand. A lot of people are very, very interested in the, in the 905s. Thank uh, you very much. In the 905, it's, it's caused quite a bit of a, a stir, I think, in, the am in amateur radio. They, they think that it's fantastic what ICOM are doing. And I had everybody watching. Everyone, everyone's watching, yes. 76 watching. Oh my goodness. Now, one question which everyone has asked, and I have sort of answered already, there's no idea on the price yet, is there? Unfortunately, we have no uh, confirmed yet. Yeah. But we will uh, announce that as soon as possible. Yep. And um, availability? Well, maybe early next year. Yep. yep. So far, yes. 